Steve, disappointing performance this afternoon. What have you got to say about that? I don't think there's any sort of beating around the bush with it, is there? Um, I think I think we can all see that it was um, miles away, to be honest. Uh, absolutely miles away. It looks like uh, it was a, a game in the middle of April when you've got nothing to play for, um, and and it's it's a very dangerous way to get caught up in. You know, it's it's if you if you get caught up in a in a situation where you can't you can't really move position. You know, we're we're, we're third, but we've made the playoffs, um, and I wouldn't say we've we've down tools today. I think that's too strong. But I think um, the old the old cliche one is I think the heads were on the beach, and it's my job now to sort that and quickly. I've got a week now to, to, to sort that before we play the, the bank holiday weekend couple of games. And um yeah, I've got to I've got to, a lot of work to do. There wasn't an awful lot of positivity around at all apart from that one goal. It means that you've hit hundred uh, goals, which is probably a good mark to get past because it stops people worrying about it. But um other than that there was very little on the part to be uh, to be cheery about. No, we do I mean, throughout the throughout the season we've played Forty odd games, you know, we've we've played um, we've played forty odd games this this season, and and for the vast majority of them, the the, the way we've been out, the game plan has been has been good, and, and, and we've you know we've we've not really deviated away from that too much, and you know even the personnel for the starting eleven today was 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 more than capable of um, of, of of performing to the, the high levels, but. The, the, they just the, the boys the boys that have been selected to go over that white line in the one to eleven at the minute well for today haven't done it they haven't done it they've 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 been you know they've disappointed me you know they've they've disappointed the the supporters and disappointed everybody else at the club that that, that um, comes and cheers us but you know like I said eight times out of ten this season they've been very good and they've got to find that consistency we can't go you know away up there and and have great performances away at Alver Church and. Um, Bromsgrove here and, and, and um, you know away at Stockport and you know all those kind of great performances that we've had this season and and then we have performances like today, like Barton Rovers, like some Coalfield where we get at last minute to make it for each, you know. And we've had we've probably had three or four of those performances like we have today. And it's it's you know, it's it's not really good enough to be honest with you. If you want to go up to the next level and you want to you want to find your your sort of your your mentality of where you're at as a football player, you've got to be better than that. You can't you can't have four or five games a season where you're miles away. You know, you can have an off game now and then, but we don't have off games. We we end up having threes and fours out of tens all over the pitch and that's a disappointing part for it. You know, and, and, and what I've said to the boys there is if your mate is having a poor game, go and help him. We're a team. Go and help your mate if, if your mate's not doing it, you know, it's not it's not an individual sport. We've got 11, 11 players all in the same team in there. Go and help them. Go and help your mate out. Go and go and try and go and try and if it's if it's the third goal today where the goalkeeper's made made a a, a, a poor error of judgment and it's went in. Stop the shots coming in at him. You know, help him out. Or or if if your your centre forwards maybe not get he's getting caught up. We're, we're not getting any support in him. Find a way to go and find support to him. You know, maybe maybe tuck tuck in a little bit from the wide area. You know. Yes, I can do that, and yes, it's my job to put the tactics out there. But we need a little bit of simplicity from the boys to understand the game while they're playing it. You know, I can run up and down the the, the touchline, look at lunatic more games than not. But they need to, if they want to go and play at a higher level, like the vast majority of these boys are capable of, they need to be more consistent, and they can't have performances like this four or five times a season. You got a week now to prepare for Dunstable. Uh, another difficult trip down the road but uh, you've got them in twice I guess this week to, to work on uh, any news on the on the injured players that are not available today that could have played yeah well, well hopefully we'll have um, three or four of them back today um, we'll have we'll have three or four that missed today we'll ho hopefully have those back um, and, and, and you know the boys that have stepped in today haven't done enough to keep the shirts, you know. So there's, I've got a big decision to make of how tactically I'm going to I'm going to come up uh, against the game because we've got two and three days. So, you know, I've got I've got a lot of work to do between now and, and now and Saturday afternoon. You know, that's my job to now go and look at it, get them in Tuesday, analyse what we've seen, um, get them in Thursday, and work on what we're what we're going to prepare for come Saturday. Um, and yeah, you know, I've got I've got I've got a, I've got my, my work cut out for me now to 
to be able to turn it around and turn it around within a week that our performance has to go from three fours to eight nines and, and that's my job you know that's my job to go and be able to do that um, and keep these boys going I mean we haven't lost anything today we've not won anything today um, so it's one of those where it's maybe a bit of a reality check you know and it's maybe not a bad time to have a reality check um, with three games of the, the normal season to go before we play that semi-final because if we get a reaction off of today which I think we will then it might stand as in good said kind of going into the last little bit of the season Apart from the performance today, the other talking point, of course, is uh, Conor Kennedy's red card. You've still got to look into that. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, from, from where I'm standing, I think he's, he's won the ball. After speaking to him, he believes he's won the ball. Um, so we need to look at it, and it's great. That's why we've got Michael videoing the games, because it you know, gives us an opportunity to look back at it. Um, and we can, we can assess whether it maybe, maybe it was excessive force or maybe it was, was a, a, a reckless tackle. But if it's not... Then we'll be we'll be putting an appeal into to the the league to, to have it obviously rescinded. Um, so we'll we'll look into that to, to see what we believe is the the right course of action now, and we'll take it from there. Because his reaction didn't actually suggest that it was rash at all. He he, he was more surprised at the referee's reaction yeah. to him. So uh, yeah, you you might certainly have a case there possibly to be looked at. Definitely look at it. I mean, and even the boy got up and played on. You know, so he's he's obviously not injured him. He's not damaged him. He's not not touched him maybe. So we, we will definitely look at it. You know, we'll we'll have a look. Obviously, I can't I can't make much comment on what the actual tackle was or, or whether it was or was not a red card at the minute because I haven't seen it back. I'm only seen it that one time. The referee's 60, 70 yards closer than I am at that point. But we've got the we've got the video that we can look back at. We can use as the evidence to to, to go against if we think that it, 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 it's something that we can appeal. Excellent. Thanks for your help today, Steve. Cheers. Thank you.